That's right. We know what time it is. We got ten minutes stretching. Shock from the heart. And today we're gonna be doing a lot of hip. Okay. Again, lower back. We're gonna work these quads up in the front and the hamstrings in the back. A little more stuff, but we're gonna isolate and work a lot more in those areas. So ten minutes. Remember, get your little stuff, a little area to work on. No ball, no nothing. Just the body today, so you can be at work. So almost lunch time. Hey, take a 10 minute break for lunch. Do a little stretch. Hey Google, set alarm for 10 minutes. You got it. Okay. Your alarm so, put your legs a little bit wider, a little wider than shoulder width apart. Hands to the hips. Breathe in, look up toward the ceiling. Exhale, bring your chin toward the chest. Ride your breath up and then down. In and then out. Ball the breath. Relax the rest of the body, just the neck is moving. Look back to the center. Look over the left shoulder. Breathe into your center and then over to the opposite side. There we go. Now check out the stance at the waist. Makes you feel like Superman, Superwoman. That powerful stance. Get back to the center. Drop the left ear to the left shoulder. You know, to the opposite side. Do your best not to bring the shoulder up. Take the ear to the shoulder. There we go. Use that breath. Exhale and the muscles relax. Ear goes down to the side. Bring back to the center. Shoulder roll. Go up, back, and down. Lift them up. Feel the breath coming in. Large circles. There we go. Opposite direction. Rolling forward. Feel the movement. There we go. Feel the breath coming into the body. Deep breaths. Tapping into the energy within. Now let your shoulders center. Then lift them up. Nice and high. Exhale. Let them down. Breathe in. Open up. Release. Feel the breath entering the body. As you exhale out, feel the muscles release. Back to the center. Hands to the waist. Now, small circles. The feet are wide apart, so you got these small circles. Working the hips. Opposite direction, same thing. Work the hips. Pause. Walk the feet in just a little bit. Again, hips. Larger circles. All the way around. Woo, there we go. Hip movement. Opposite direction, same thing. Get the hips into it. Get your back into it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, pause. Again, one more time. Now, real large circles. Put the hips into it. Opposite direction. Now, pause and just in the hip back. And see if you can just get your hips moving. Just isolate in your hips. Roll the hips. It's like a bowl, rolling around, opposite direction, roll it around. There you go. Stop. Hand down to the knees, ankles together, circular motion. That's ski mode, ski mode. Skiing down the Alps. Oh, Haleakala. <laughs> there we go. Haleakala's in Maui, in Hawaii. Okay, pause. Now give a nice little bend, halfway down, back up, lengthen. Halfway down, lengthen. Again, halfway down, then lengthen. Standing all the way up. Walk the feet wide apart, as wide as you're able to. Be at your comfort level. Remember, every body is different. Listen to your body. Feet are pointing straight forward or slightly in. No plie in. Don't let the feet plie out to the side. Straight forward, hands to that weight. Now push your pelvis forward. As you push that pelvis forward, press into the outer edge of your feet. Now lean back above the waist. Keep the pelvis pressing forward. Exhale, slowly come back. Forward, slide the hands right down in front of your thighs. You have flexibility, you either stop at your thighs, your shins, your ankles, or the outer edge of your feet. Now breathe in. Crown the head is pointing straight forward. Exhale, you're going to fold. Let the elbows go out to the side. Relax the neck, chest, 
that center of the breastbone going through the center of the legs. Breathe in. Let the hips come up. Press into the outer edge of your feet. Let that chest open up by moving the elbows outward. And when you exhale, chest going through the legs. Keep that back straight. Relax the neck. Exhale. Now release. Slowly coming back up. Slide the hands back up the front of the thighs, your shins, over the knees, thighs, all the way up to the waist. Walk the feet in just one time, just a little bit. Now lean over to the left, lean over to your right. There we go. Just lean. Try not to lean the body down. Let the upper body stay straight. Work into your hips from left to right. Extend the right leg out, press into the outer edge of the foot. Then the left leg, press into the outer edge of the foot. Open up those hips. Awesome. Coming back to the front. Now this time, bring the hands down to the mat as you shift over to your left. Hands to the mat or a block if you're able to. Now shift the weight over to the right. There we go. Over to the left again. Press it out to the right. This time when you shift, turn the heel of the opposite leg up. There we go. To the opposite side, turn the heel up. Use your hands for balance. Press it over, again, off to the opposite side. Pull that heel up. One more time. Over to the left. Now we're gonna hold this position. Now try to get the upper body up straight. If you're able to, bring your left hand right behind, by your left glute cheek, and let yourself lower down toward the mat. Support yourself with the hands, but sitting up. Now I want you to tighten up that quad, the front of that left thigh, let that hamstring lengthen, and let yourself lower down. Awesome. Lean forward, bring that left hand to the front, shift over to the opposite side. Turn that right heel up, get your balance, sit down. Use, if it's too low for you, get yourself a chair or a stool or something to work out. And again, move the right hand behind that right leg and sit down. Feel the right quad tighten up. That's going to allow the hamstrings to open. Coming back, back to the front. Press into the outer edge of the feet, lean forward. Exhale, bend your knees, tuck your chin. Slowly come up, one vertebrae at a time. Roll those shoulder blades up, back, and then down. Walk your feet in, heel toe, heel toe, all the way up. Relax the hips. Feel the energy coming from the top of the head. Breathe in, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, release. Completely let go. Hands as far down as you're able. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, chest toward the thighs. Bend the knees, tuck the chin. One vertebra at a time, slowly come up. Ride that breath up, breathing in, expanding in the chest. Roll the shoulder blades up, back, and then down. Feel the relaxation in your hips. All the way down to the feet. Breath in, again, reaching up over the head, ride the breath in. As you exhale, bring the hands down, exhaling out, right to that heart center. And just feel the energy at the heart center. Release the hands, coming down into mountain pose. Again, standing strong. Feel the energy flow from the top of your head all the way down through the body as the energy passes through and let go expand deep breath in exhale out releasing from the top of the head all the way down out through the fingers out through the feet
feel the energy at the center of the breastbone. Allow that energy to expand. As that energy expands out, you're the energy. Allow the energy to come back into that heart center, flowing upward to the center of the brain, and tapping into the heart and brain coherence. Mm -hmm. Google, alarm off. Coming back to your center. Feeling the earth below you. All that's around. <laughs> oh gosh, that was a good one. Nice, smooth, meditative. Staying in your center. Flow with the energy. We all are energy. As we tap into our own energy within, we connect to the total energy of all things. Much love, my friends. Aloha. Again, next video over to the left, hit that video to the right. Go ahead and subscribe. Get in the flow. Aloha.